Uh, hi, everybody. Welcome to Pop Dust Presents. This one is super exciting for me. We've got Moxie Rhea in the building. Hey, guys. She's got a new single called Shades of Blue, mm. which is racking up streams on Spotify and everywhere else. Mm. And your hair is blue. Good Let job on the, on the branding. It wasn't intentional. Are you sure? No, I'm positive. Was it an accidental? It was just like a random flow of events that led my hair to be blue at the same time that ah. Shades of Blue was coming out. I don't even know if we had decided that Shades of Blue was going to be the next song I put out. The hair decided when for I, you. When I, yeah, and then. Um, she's a fellow Jerseyan. Mm -hmm. Is that what we say? New Jerseyan? Yeah, yeah. New Jerseyan. Jersey um, girl. Jersey girl. Fellow Jersey girl. For, fellow Jersey girl. <laughs> she's a Jersey girl just like me. And I couldn't be happier because <laughs> the video for Shades of Blue is mm -hmm. going to be dropping this Friday, correct? Friday. Mm -hmm. um, and First video I ever directed myself. You directed it yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us a bit about that. You just boss um, everybody around? Kind of. Um, That's I, pretty um, fun. Yeah, I just, like, I had an idea and I, like, really just wanted to execute that vision exactly, so. And mm -hmm. uh, could you give us a hint? What should we expect? Um, you can expect some dancing. You can expect some special guests. Special guests? Sounds <laughs> exciting it, already, right? Is it me? I know. <laughs> is it me? No. I'm so sorry. You shot it already. <laughs> oh, you shot it already. Okay. Well, uh -huh. remix um, uh -huh. or whatever, uh -huh. you know. Well, we'll see. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll have to talk to the director, which is, right. is you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm talking to you. So I'll be in the remix version of the video. So that was cold outside. Mm -hmm. Um, not the, uh, not the, the winter wonderland song. No, about, not baby, that. it's cold outside. Although yeah. we should do a Christmas remix of that. I mean, I don't know. That song doesn't age super well in the Me Too era. It's kind of oh. aggressive. I don't, I barely can't stay, baby. Uh, yeah. She's like, she's like, I'm, I'm just trying to leave and I got homework and stuff. And he's like, no, right. it's cold and you can't handle that. Right. And she's like, no, trust me, I have a coat. We should do an Ice Me Out, <laughs> Ice Me Out oh. remix with Cold Outside then. Oh, I That's thought she said Ask Me Out, and no, I was like, oh my gosh, my <laughs> dreams are coming true on television <laughs> slash the internet. Um, okay, so tell me a bit about that song, how it came to be. Um, that song was, <clears throat> okay, long story short, I met up with an ex, and yeah. We hadn't talked for like three months and we met up to like have closure, but like that's <laughs> not like, that doesn't actually work. But we met up and basically we just like had small talk and we didn't really like talk about what we were really feeling and we just kind of liked, like, oh, cool new jacket. Oh, you it got a new a credit cool card. Jacket, Are you got it? Thanks. And um, it was just like really surface and so we didn't really say what we really felt. So then. I was imagining when I left, if I wrote a song saying all the things, like the super honest things that I really felt, I just put it in the song. And it was raining that day, so it was like, and it's cold outside. Even though it was in LA and it was like 61, but it was cold. <laughs> Frigid, yes. But being from New York, this song like means more to me because I really, I really like appreciate that, you know, winter cuddle vibe season. So, I read on the internet, so mm -hmm. I'm 100% oh, no. sure it's true. Mm -hmm. You were uh, opening up for Justin Bieber on tour? I was. What was, was that like? How did that happen? That was awesome. We had the same manager at the time, Scooter Braun. And Big fan of the show. Shout out to Spooter. Scooter Braun. Scooter Braun. Yeah. Great friend of mine. <laughs> I call him Spooter. It's our joke. It's like an inside joke. Okay. Love you, Spoot. <laughs> But he um, he invited me on the tour. It was it was amazing. It was amazing. I had never I had never played I had played one arena before in a, in a one off show, but I had never really done it. I've never done an arena tour before, obviously. So it was really awesome. What are your plans after this? I would like my you know bank account to mirror all the success uh, that I've had. Yeah, yeah. So, well, you know, it's tough. It's you know. <laughs> Because no, you know, economy. I just want to. I, I want to be on tour like for the rest of my life. I love being on tour, so I would just be super happy. Like a runaway, that. right? What are you running from? <laughs> you can tell me. I'm more so running towards something. Ooh, she flipped 
<laughs> that was good. Yeah. Um, I'm running towards this light, this purpose, this self-actualization. Is it a blue light? What's with the blue? No, it's white. It's white light. It's white light. Mm -hmm. How That's do you know? That's where I'm heading. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I might. <laughs> white's going to be my favorite color after blue. Blue's my favorite color right now, but white's going to be my next favorite color. You're planning your next favorite colors? <laughs> yes. Your life is so organized. It is. I You're love order. You're like, ordered. this month, my favorite color is, <laughs> is blue, but I've already planned a couple seasons ahead. I can feel myself moving into a more white vibe. Although I'm... I feel the country doing that, too, a little bit. <laughs> no. <in> the... <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, oh, my God, no. <laughs> no, it's fine. We took mm -hmm. back the house last night. Um, yeah, thank God. Thank God. Mm -hmm. Woo. Um, Thank God. So, on Friday we're gonna get the video for Shades of Blue, mm -hmm. which you directed. And mm -hmm. is it? Are there some clips of it right now on your like Instagram, yes, social there media? Are, there are no clips of the actual video, but there's like BTS. Which for showbiz folks out there means best Behind. timing snakes. <laughs> Behind the scenes. That's what it is. <laughs> oh, so stupid, bro. <laughs> Uh-huh. You know, so when I, when I heard the song, I was surprised because, um, you know, you've had this huge success in the the pop realm, I mean, traveling mm -hmm. with Justin Bieber and everything, mm -hmm. and when I listened to the song, uh, immediately, like, the, the musicality, the in, in, instrumentation on it and everything else was uh, super impressive. It was, you know, bluesy and jazzy mm -hmm. and sort of, like, almost a little bit of, like, Amy Winehouse or something, mm -hmm. like, a, like, a lot of... I, I don't know, it was, but then also like a super like contemporary hip hop, like drum beat, beat like right. production. Mm -hmm. um, so I think, you know, I'd love to hear about your... Process? No. Oh. no. <laughs> I'm the one asking the questions around here. I was okay. trying to finish your sentences. I know, that would have been really cute, but, but you were wrong. Um, <laughs> Inspirations. Inspirations. Or people, idols, uh, musical mm -hmm. rivals. <laughs> rivals. No, who has inspired you uh, when it comes to music? Um, growing up in my house, my dad played a lot of Motown and Frank Sinatra. And so I feel like I was really listening to like The Temptations, Stevie Wonder, Donny Hathaway, Al Green, Marvin Gaye, Jackson 5. It was like what we were listening to every day, and I really, really, really got obsessed with Stevie Wonder. And for my 13th birthday, my older brother gave me the best gift ever, which was like he burned like 13 CDs of every song Stevie Wonder ever recorded and gave it to me, which I thought was like a really cool That's gift. That's so cool, right? yeah. You kind of remind me of him. Well, yeah. <laughs> you too, I just thought of that. watching at home. <laughs> When you meet Chris, a girl... Chris, are you watching? Chris, are you watching? Chris is a big fan of the show, but <laughs> it's always a good sign when you're hanging out with a girl and she says you remind her of her brother. That's when you know... Always? You have a, you have a chance. <laughs> but it was, a, it was a really great gift, and I loved... I, I, I like listened to that so much from like 13 on, and then I really... When I was 13, I moved to New York City and went to performing arts school. I lived with my sister, and I got really, really, really into Lauryn Hill. Lauryn Ooh. Hill and Jasmine Sullivan were, like, huge for me. So, That's so those cool. were, like, my influences. And now, getting to your process, mm -hmm. um, are there particular producers that, that you're working with that have defined that sound? Because I feel like there's such, there's such a live you know, especially with the guitar on mm -hmm. the track for Shades of Blue, but then mm -hmm. very, like, again, like, contemporary, like, almost, like, you know, trap, trap hi-hats yeah. and, and stuff. And I love that combination. So how did that come to be? Um, the producer of this song is Levi Lennox. He's from London. And he just, he, he just, I, I, had a, I had this poem called Shades of Blue that I had written, and I told him, and he just started playing that and put the drums on literally within, like, 45 seconds. It was crazy how fast it happened. I like landed in London, went straight to the session, had this poem, sat down, told him I have this poem called Shades of Blue, and he just he just played. It was like the first thing he played. 
And I just sang, these shades of me, these are shades of you. And then this amazing writer, Shea, Shea Jacobs, came in, and we finished the song together. <laughs> so that's really cool. So if you're an aspiring singer-songwriter out there, just fly to London. <laughs> land. And go straight land, to your session. <laughs> find a fancy producer. Mm -hmm. Their names have to start with the same letter, first Levi and last Lennox. name. Mm -hmm. And then, um, yeah, your dreams come true, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, but no, that, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. And so, so you worked with a producer in London. Mm -hmm. um, and are you going to be touring again in the U.S.? Or what happens after this music video comes out? Um, I would, I'm doing a few shows, like local shows in the city, maybe some in different like big cities in the U.S. before the end of the year, but small shows, and then, um, and then hopefully a tour next year. Well, We're releasing a lot, a lot more music next year, too. Ooh, I'm excited, especially because I'm pretty sure I'll be featured. Right. Uh, well, we'll see, you know, if the internet mm -hmm. demands it, and they better. But, but thank you so much for joining us. Do you have... Uh, more questions, or, or questions? Anything that you want to say? <laughs> I already established I'll be asking all the questions here. That's all we have for you tonight. <laughs> this has been a Pop Dust Presents, and uh, thank you, thank you, Moxie Rhea, uh, for being here and sharing your shades with us. Thank and, you for having um, me. This was really fun. I needed this really laugh fun. today. Uh, but thank you, everybody, for watching. Please subscribe, like, share. Follow Moxie online, Moxie Rhea. Everything is at Moxie Rhea. At, at Moxie Rhea. M O X I E R A I A. R -A -I -A. R -A -I -A.